Okay, I don't know where we were in the previous episode, but um, Apollo's contact will assist in the construction or expansion of your base. Find the contact to learn more. In space, access the galaxy map to find their location. And did we build the terminal for the guy? Uh, yeah, we have two of these. Mission target is in another system. Use a teleporter to instantly return. All right, let's see. If it's in another system, then it probably gives a symbol on the teleporter. So, is this running? Yes. All right, you see the red and white symbol? Let's go there and see what this is about. I haven't played this in a little, in a few days. I want to apologize, by the way. I, in some of my earlier videos, I said some incorrect things like right click when I meant left click. So I will try and do better with that. But um, it did say that our contact is in another system, and we saw in the teleporter the red and white. There should be a red and white symbol, there it is, above the person. Use shift to go quicker. So Apollo's contact will help expand your base Find Apollo's contact aboard the space station. Uh, let's see, can we get this blue thing? All right, he's waving his hand, so let's see if it's him. Sales get to Kopi. Is it really you? Forgive me. I've been searching for such a long time. I am contracted to aid you in this in every cycle. Don't worry, everything was paid for a long time ago. It's all quite above board. As the stranger speaks, a smell assaults me, a pheromone infesting my brain, giving me memories of places I never visited, of actions I never took, of myself in a mirror, aged and alone. This sounds familiar. Did we do this before? Of this geck cradling their fallen brethren, of a bargain made many years from now, a contract signed across the cosmos. The vision ends and the overseer remains. The overseer promises to expand my base, allowing me to recruit other workers. They require a construction terminal to get started. I thought we already did this. All right, I'm going to hire him, but I thought we already did this. There is something compelling about this geck. They shall feel at home in my home. Okay, let's head back to the base. Unless is there, should I talk to the other people in this room? Perhaps there's somebody else. Ah, he has a symbol above his head. Life, uh, Secret Keeper Sumans. Life form. You are arrived later than anticipated. Data has been obtained, exchanged, utilized. New tools await you as instructed. Corvax has plans to update both base and exosuit. Where is your base sighted? What sort of haphazard protection meets your needs? Well, since we have the base on cold, let's say cold protection. Excellent choice, interloper. Leave here at once and expand your base. May it prove a mighty stronghold as you explore the universe. Gra. 
Return to your base. Uh, thermal protection module. So if you put the modules next to each other, I think you get bonuses of some form. All right, now we have two thermal protection modules. Much better. That's an improved situation. He's waving at me too, though. Uh, let's grab some more ion batteries while we're here, if they sell them, to refill those. Uh, those thermal protections require ion batteries to stay running. And compared to the amount of money we make from stuff, the ion batteries are relatively cheap. Uh, I'm going to take them all. Okay. Your bases. Now, I haven't destroyed this base yet. Someday, I plan to get rid of that base. Now, look like he gave me the Romer Geo Bay. If I hit Z, yeah, he gave me the Romer Geo Bay. Five metal plating and 50 paraffinium. Ghost in the machine, report into Apollo with news of your base and staff. Return to space to make contact. Let's check our log here. Automated has restored additional data, so let's check the base computer. You see the two squares above the blue line show that um, I have two shields now. Automated archive recovery in progress. Data recovered, 15%. Search archives. Entry 4925 follows. My exosuit is directing me to a crash starship. Controls react to my touch, and I can only assume it belongs to me. No memory of it. No sense of a before. Additional data available. Construction logs recovered. Blueprints reassembled and prepared for download. Search construction database. Base technology data extracted. Downloading plans. Save point plans restored. Two metal plating, one dihydrogen jelly. Readable archive retrieval complete, beginning defragmentation of next segment. All 
All right, so to construct a save point, one dihydrogen, two metal plating. Do we have dihydrogen jelly? We have 401 dihydrogen. We can make a dihydrogen jelly with 40 of them. And we needed what? A metal plating? We need two metal platings. E to craft one more. I'm going to replace what we got with a little bit here. Generally, if I mine stuff, I try and replace it. Okay. That would be one shield gone. There's it makes a little noise when it goes away. So I have one shield left. Oh. Forget that. Okay, where should we put that save point? Uh, make it easy to access maybe when we go in here. So we'll put it in the corner here. Now, if you look, auto save and manual save, we may, I may get only one for one game. I don't know the save. All right. We constructed the save point, E to use it. Now, if you go to the options, the manual save 129, and uh, the, that is the time now. Okay. Okay, so we don't need to worry about the base computer archives. The overseer awaits at their terminal. Okay, let's see the overseer. Things are going well, friend, but it will not be long before violence follows us here. It is inevitable. If I had some microprocessors, I could steal a march on fate. Yes, I would design a weapons terminal suitable for a Viking armor. The overseer asked me for microprocessors in order to design a weapons terminal. The scientist should be able to assist with the task. Accept. Sales Gek Jacopi has been helpful so far, and I have no reason to distrust them. I shall find them the microprocessors they need. Okay, um, creation, the scientist will teach you how to make microprocessors. So let's go to Entity, entity Kazugutai. You, to be working together, traveler, this is the way of the Corvax. The scientist is quite a contrast to the slightly unsettling Gek already at home within my base. 
They see the world with such a straightforward excitement. Their enthusiasm is infectious. Um, I guess I'll agree. The Corvax buzzes and flashes their lights in a way that can only mean they are happy. You to be working together, this is the way of the Corvax. Quite a contrast. Okay, it's repeating the same thing. Okay. All right, agree. There's nothing else. All right, do I already know how to make microprocessors then? I don't see a recipe for microprocessor. Oh, I have to gather marrow bulb and cobalt for the scientists, um, which will be found in caves. So I need to find a cave. So to find a cave, we'll find the cave incidentally by exploring a little bit. So I'll take the signal booster, which apparently I lost. So I need nanotubes and metal plating. Okay. Nanotubes, metal plating. Signal booster. Okay, locate nearby structures. Okay. We haven't gone on that tower yet, have we? Let's get this out of the way. Uh, we saved that already. All right. Let's go on top of the tower. At the top, uh, you use W to go up the ladders. S to go down. We may be able to see a cave from up here as well. So I guess uh, now let's see E. Hollow terminus activated. Access records, no incoming calls. Access the previous call. Something is no good. All right, leave. All right, do you see a cave? Nope. And the signal booster. Okay, we'll try it again. A 
locate nearby structures. F, E to highlight the abandoned building. Let's head over there. I believe the dioxide will re refill All right, that abandoned building is in front of the plane. Okay, the exosuit, and I'll use dioxide. Okay, it doesn't do much there. Now we're hoping to find a cave in this process. A lot of times there are caves by these abandoned buildings. Could be a cave over there. I think we've been here before. Yep, we've been here before, I think. Some of these things open are already open, so we've been here. We just haven't done everything here. I'm going to throw the goop away as I see my inventory spots filling up. I found a body. It's unlike anything I have ever seen. If there's a species like it, then I hope they're all dead like this one. At first, I thought it's some tragic remnant of a matter transfer tech malfunction. A cage of bones and flesh studded, a cage of bones and flesh studded with random patterns of crooked teeth and roomy, lidless eyes. But no, some horror of twisted evolution warped by cruel nature. I can't help but picture what it would have looked like alive. I cannot help but fear that it will live again. Analyzed Datalog. I discover some coded deep, something coded deep inside the long dead traveler's log. Something left that will aid me on my own journey. And it's about 131 nanites. A quick scan didn't turn up anything. Okay, it's all online. Locate nearby structures. Hoping for something new.
We were just at... Weren't we just there? If it sends us back there, we're just going to go back there and do something else. We could fly around and look for a cave from the air. Oh no, we haven't been to this place. And usually the fuel is free. Does that look like a cave to the left there? Beautiful. Eat a land. See the two caves? Now let's move some items to the starship. Um, I don't need all the carbon. That I have. Put 500 carbon there. Um, the salvage data, if we die, it'll be better if it's on the starship. Had the ion battery. Okay, we opened up some spots. Let's head for the caves. As that's a quest item. Uh, watch out. Near caves are hazardous flora. He's going to make it impossible for me to get in here. This cave's extremely dangerous. With those things at the front. Maybe we can work our way in here. Okay, he is making it difficult. Where is he? He's right in here in the cave entrance. Um, let's work our way away from that guy. We need marrow bulb also. Um. Up. Uh.
All right, we'll have to find somewhere else. Let's try the other cave away from this guy. Usually the glowing things are the marrow bulb. There it is. There's a lot of toxic things. You got to keep your eye open for them. They will end up killing you in these caves. But we need the marrow bulbs, so... Using the F... We need cobalt. And we have all the cobalt we need. All right. Mission accomplished. So a lot of times by these buildings, there are caves. And I just kind of, I explore for the buildings while getting the caves. Now, we can search the boxes here. Grab whatever's in them. This gives a free navigation data. We will be able to use those later for stuff. Oh, did we? Yeah, there we go. There's the navigation data. Okay, we'll need to refill one of our shields. Okay, the encyclopedia gives us a GEC word because we're in a GEC system. Extracting the nanites gives us another 57 nanites. While we're here, uh, we can restore our shield. As you see, our inventory is full. Get nanites out of that. Okay, and back to the plane, the spaceship. Our base is this way. To the right of the ship. All right, I can move the navigation data to the starship as I've been keeping them there.
that'll at least open up one slot. Now for the launch fuel. I kind of uh, was a waste making that glass, wasn't it? You know, if I land in those three circles, I'm pretty sure it's a free... Um, well, in any case... Let's return to the scientist and show him, give him the marrow bulb and the cobalt. Traveler, I have prepared you blueprints, but please hurry, something has happened. The Corvax seems changed from the happy soul they were on my departure. They are fighting their worry, trying to stay focused on their promise to me. Give marrow bulb. The Corvax leans forward, anxious for the rest of their materials. Give cobalt. Corvax has completed the plans, but traveler, they have, my people have abandoned me. As of 104.32 seconds ago, I lost the hearing, the sight of the Corvax convergence, you. Let's see, I can now build microprocessor and the large refiner. I seek immediate reconnection. Go to this transmission tower, enter my soul, discover what is wrong. Help Corvax with solitude, please. Entity Kazuguta is deeply upset, claiming that they have been disconnected from the Corvax hive mind. The scientists asked me to take their personality core to a transmission tower for analysis. All right, remove core. Core removed. Entity offline. That's Entity Kazagutai. All right, so coordinates received. Uh, we need to get an advanced mining laser. We we need to get a better um, mining tool, in fact. Since we made launch fuel, Okay. So it's behind us the way that we're going to go. Yeah, I should probably land on those green circles. All right. 50 percent is enough to take off with. All right, we're heading to the transmission tower to do the Corvax's mission. You notice it gave us a beaker symbol for where to go. All right. Approximate location, we're going to scout around the area.
that copper I see, and there's a good amount of oxygen over there. S to slow it down. I'm going to put it on top of this hill. I believe that would be it right there, in fact. Yep, wasted launch fuel. Let's see. Why on earth they're such a pain? And we use ferrite when we make the plates for the launch fuel. I believe it's 50 ferrite. So I get a little more than 50. Back to the plane. E to grab this on the run. Both of our um, shields have gone down for the ice shields. Oh, yeah, we're at 50%. We'll need the launch fuel when we... Um, well, there should be rings, actually, here. E to land. Let's do this quest. I'll talk to that guy when he goes back inside. Usually when they go outside, they eventually go inside. Terminal online. I prepare to insert the Corvax Intelligence Corner of the Transmission Tower. The judgment of the Convergence awaits. Here, judgment. Terminal online. Connection established. Error. Diagnostic Corvax Science Unit corrupted by Traveler Interaction. Personality overwritten. Anomaly involvement detected. Solution, quarantine Corvax science unit from convergence, observe, analyze, silence. Hypothesis, Sentinel, Atlas, universal foci, countermeasure in progress. Risk assessment, entropic galactic destruction, rebirth. Error. Atlas. Error. 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 They see you leave. Okay, so now let's speak to this Gek here. The trader seems ill. Their skin is frostbitten and flaky, and their eyes lack a certain luster. Ice crystals have formed around their tear ducts. Friend. Stalled. Gek. 
Help friend. Help. A strange, flat stench fills every corner of the facility. I inspect my exosuit for things I could offer this life form. Let's see. If he's getting ice crystals, uh, what do you say? Hazard protection would be the way to go? I offer hazard protection. I collect a piece of cable from the debris on the floor and wire a makeshift connect between my hazard protection system and the little alien's own exosuit. The musty odor of the facility is washed away, replaced by a delicate, fragrant perfume, the very scent of gratitude. Attendant Rackenarf hands me a valuable reward. 113 nanites and my Gex standing increased by one. Okay, let's mark our location. Save and chart this sector. Uh... Inventory. Let's put the rusted metal on the starship. Maybe we can get the navigation data still? Or did I lose that navigation data? All right, you see, I think I lost that. Throw that away. We don't have room. Uh, you know that didn't give me anything. Let's try it again. Hyperdrive module. That goes on the starship. Let's drop it in the technology section. For now. Until we get more space. And a buried technology module is nearby. Often near these buildings, you can find at least one buried technology module. It's a good habit to look for them. And I'll stick that on the starship. Nothing in here. Okay, read the encyclopedia. We learn the Gek word for do. Extract nanites. We get 68 nanites. Search the pot. We get 11 carbon. All right. And mining beam, grab some ferrite dust while heading back to the ship. Okay, our launch thrusters are empty. And we are running out of space. I definitely need to do something here. Let's move the three salvation, salvation data over to here. Make the metal plate. Make the launch fuel. Oh yeah, let's um let's get rid of the um mark E to remove 
beacon. Okay. So our base is to our left. I'm going to land on the green because I don't think it'll cost us anything to take off from that. Those green rings. Till we get the launch fuel rechargers. I'm going to use these to land in, I think. You know what? We can put some stuff in that container. Let's see what we can drop in the container here. The salvage data can go in there. And let's drop the cobalt in there. We may need that later. And let's put the dihydrogen jelly there. All right. I think I will pause this recording and uh, after we talk to the scientist. Entity Kazugutai Shell sits in front of me awaiting reconnection trapped inside the data core. I have no way of knowing how the Corvax has taken the encounter at the transmitter. Reinsert core. Shell reconnection in progress. Okay, so the scientist is re rebooting. All right, I will um, use the save point and See you in the next episode. Thank you.